All right, Pisces. Let's do a reading for the sign of Pisces. Today is April 18th, 2023. What messages do we have for the sign of Pisces? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. We have the unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So Spirit is telling you to hone in on your intuition in order to make beneficial changes. Hold on your unicorn energy, Pisces. Just saying. All right. Sunrise. New creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. Okay. So there could be some type of a new beginning. Spirit is telling you to use your intuition to make beneficial changes, new creative ideas. This could have to do with something that you're planning, a creative spark with the sun, everything grows, okay? Three more, what else do you wanna tell Pisces? The feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Like this always comes out in your guys' readings, like a couple times a week, um, whoever this undependable and insincere person is, Needs to uh, eliminate themselves from your energy. All right. What else for Pisces? Single cards only spirit. What else do we have? Wind chimes. Peace and harmony. So focus on your peace. The things that bring you uh, peace and harmony. All right. So then we have the rooster. An arrogant boastful person you should not cross in the lobster financial pinch all right so let's see these cards are already shuffled so let's get into this use your intuition to make beneficial changes why is this here what is this about for all of you guys i feel like this is going to be different obviously um seven of pentacles this may be something that you've been working on, investing into the moon. Maybe you've been doing this in secret. The moon also talks about your intuition, vivid dreams. Um, all right, so something that you've been working on to, working hard on, is coming into fruition. Seven of Wands reversed and the Death card upright and Three of Swords. So some of you guys are needing to uh, possibly let go of some type of heartbreak as well use your intuition to make beneficial changes what the hell was that noise bunnies don't make noises Sound like a whimpering noise. All right. So with the death card here, Scorpio energy, Pisces, Cancer, there is something that is changing, transforming, some type of an ending or letting go of something. Um, again, letting go of some type of heartbreak possibly or a third party situation. Someone may be admitting defeat. I don't know. This is a little vague for me. Show me sunrise. Maybe it'll come out in just a moment. You, you guys know how I read. All right. So let's see. Four of Wands. So new ideas, new creative ideas, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. Four of Wands. Um, yeah. Some of you guys are building some type of a reputa reputation or a brand by possibly doing something in repetition. So I almost said that. Um, but there is some type of stability, security that you have built up for yourself. Hard work and dedication is paying off. Okay, the Four of Wands. Um, I don't know if you do some type of work within your community or you work on stage or um, maybe you work with families as well. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, whoever you are, you're very giving, nurturing, abundant, Six of Swords. You're being guided or led towards calmer waters here, Pisces. Healing, transitioning. New creative ideas and a fresh start. 
some of you guys may be guided um, to to like transfer in the position that you work for. So some of you guys may be transitioning. This could be an actual geographical location. This could be this could just be transferring departments. Okay. Some of you guys may be moving up as well, like moving up some type of a corporate ladder. It's a pretty, oh, it looks green on camera. It's totally blue. It's like a royal blue. It's so pretty, but you, the camera's not picking it up. Anyways. <clears throat> One more. Whatever this is, I feel like some of you guys may be moving. Some of you guys could actually be moving, okay? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. There's an opportunity coming in here. A fresh new start. Straight up. That's going to make you happy. This is a golden opportunity. This this pertains to your home, your stability, your, you know, things that you value. This could be a new job. This could be a new, a new job. <laughs> Some of you guys may have to move for something as well. But this is ultimately going to be a fresh start for you. Whatever it is. All right, show me the feather ears. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Why is the feather here for Pisces? Eight of Wands. High Priestess. So there's many positive opportunities. Maybe some type of messages coming towards you. High Priestess. Use your intuition. Some of you guys could be traveling in secret or doing something in secret, taking action. The Queen of Cups. This is all you, Pisces, and the lovers. So some of you guys have a choice to make, maybe about another water sign or Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be a choice in love, a choice to travel. There's a need to use your intuition because someone here is undependable and insincere. Why is the Lover's card here? The Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you guys could have an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming towards you. Or someone wanting to offer some type of stability. This is a kindred spirit. This may have been something that's coming that came in slow. Um, but there's going to be some type of news or travel surrounding this. Okay, sorry. What is this offer coming in? Show me the Knight of Pentacles, please. What is this offer coming in? <clears throat> Some of you guys are going to have a choice to make. The King of Cups. Wow, someone's coming in offering some type of... Ooh. Pisces. This could be a divine counterpart, a soulmate. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got Gemini here as well. We got a counterpart coming in, wanting to offer you something. Someone you know is independable and insincere. Well, where is that at? Maybe you have a choice between two. Okay, let's keep going. Show me peace and harmony. Peace and harmony, eh? What is up with that? Hmm. All right. The oh, not Queen of Cups. The uh, Nine of Cups reversed. A Nine of Cups reversed can talk about some type of unhappiness, devastation, not receiving some type of wish fulfillment, misery, shattered dreams, and then the Temperance Angel. This is for your own protection. Oh, damn. So something may not have turned out the way that you wanted it. Some cycle may have came to an end, but it was for your own divine protection. Sagittarius energy, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus with the world. Okay. Peace and harmony. Five of Cups. So there could be some type of sadness, regrets, loss, crying over spilled milk, possibly for looking at other options. But um, something didn't come. Why is the Nine of Cups in the reverse? Four swords so that you could heal. 
Seven of Cups, the Harrowpont reverse, and the Judgment. So I was getting that over here and I didn't say it, but now I'm going to. Um, somebody here may have been trying to challenge your your um, your belief system, Pisces. And so this is this was a judgment call made by the divine. So you may have wanted something, but you may not have been seeing something clearly. Like something may have been an illusion. Okay. You may have wanted something and it didn't turn out the way you wanted it, but this is ultimately for your own divine protection for your highest good. Okay. And I was getting that over here with this seven of wands in the reverse. This talks about folding on your belief systems, you know, admitting some type of defeat. So, and somebody in with the death card next to it, it's like somebody may have been trying to get you to change really right now, people. Sorry for the loud noise. Just gonna get louder. It's fine. I'll just talk louder. No worries. Whatever. I'm so sorry if that's loud, y'all. Okay, seven of wands in the reverse. Someone may have been trying to change your belief systems. It would have only ended in heartbreak, pain. Again, with the moon, that could talk about an illusion. Okay. Someone here may also have been trying to block your intuition and that's why the situation is being blocked or cause some type of change that would have been detrimental. Show me an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. An arrogant, boastful person, huh? What the little roaster? All right. What is the freaking rooster in Pisces reading today? Why can't they go big hawk away? Hawk? Alright. Two of Pentacles. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Two of Pentacles. The devil. Oh. Capricorn energy. So someone here may have just straight, straight up been juggling, going back and forth between two, whoever this is. They're arrogant. Yeah, exactly. Three of Cups. I don't know if this is someone in your friend circle or this is some straight up just a third party. Yeah, probably. That's the truth. Okay, so whoever this arrogant, boastful person is, you should not cross this person. This is probably someone who talks over you in order to, uh, yeah, in order to like uh, gaslight you, manipulate you, one up you, cause defeat, bully, intimidation, aggression. This is somebody who likes sabotaging shit. Alright. Wants you to, to surrender. Tries to cause defeat. This is possibly someone who walks away from you. They gaslight you. They argue with you. They try to one-up you. This is someone whose communication sucks. Okay. third party whoever this arrogant boastful person is you shouldn't fuck with this person all right this person is in a devil in a toxic low vibrational energy going back and forth juggling this person could be even trying to balance out something in their own life but with this devil it's like somebody here is like in that letting that lower vibrational energy take over this is somebody who is possibly entertaining other people three cups two of pentacles and the devil that's entertaining other people okay this person is arrogant, they're boastful, they're loud, they're a bully, they're a tyrant, they're intimidating, or at least they try to, okay? This person is deceptive, their communication sucks, this person could be aggressive, all right, with how they communicate with you, they try to, like, overpower you with the devil, the five of swords. This is somebody who's, like, extremely shitty. Okay? This could be someone in your friend circle, this could be someone who, um, Put you in a third party. Ooh. Six of Wands. This is someone who's full of ego. Want, likes a lot of attention. Wants you to recognize them. Wants to be praised. 
<laughs> Praised. <laughs> This could also be somebody who's in a financial pinch with this lobster and this two of pentacles. Someone who's trying to attach themselves to you, but it's a third party or something to that nature. Tries to gaslight you. This person may even talk to you. Like, if this person is like well known in the community, in the public eye, or someone who just naturally gets a lot of attention, or something or just very social with the six of wands and three of cups this is someone who's very social has a large friend group a following um this person may um try to sabotage this person could even try to if you have a platform this person could try to do something underhanded to you online um they may have capricorn in their chart but what was the first thing i was thinking um oh this person may talk to you to their friends or talk how do you say that talk about you to their friend circle to the community to the people that they associate with and blah 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 okay let me use your intuition to make beneficial changes three swords why is this here i feel like something here um someone could even be trying to like Lower, get you to like drop your boundaries in order to cause some type of heartbreak or stagnation or ending in your life. This person may come in very quickly with some type of communication. You need to use your intuition. Stay focused on your um, your pentacles on your garden, what it is that you are trying to grow. This could be, again, someone who's arrogant and boastful. A loud mouth, right? Aquarius, the Gemini energy. There could also be some information coming towards you about some type of third party heartbreak or some type of deception. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Someone is definitely coming in, taking action. Doing what? What are they trying to do? What are they trying to do to my voice? It's the five of fucking swords. I can't make this shit up if I tried. This little mother sucker. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> I just seen the King of Pentacles and I was like, they'll probably come in trying to offer you something stable. And then what? So I looked and then it was the Seven of Swords. They'll probably try to come in and offer you something stable. But what? It's deceptive. It's sneaky. It's an illusion. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Look what you made me do. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna... Pisces. Use your intuition, honey. Honey, sir, ma'am. You know what you're doing, all right? Someone's trying to block you, trying to trying to get you to lower your standards, drop your boundaries, and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Just be like, um, you know. This may be someone who's trying to attach themselves to you in some sort of way. I get three cards, love call. Someone expresses love. A message of love letting me know or message of love, thinking of you, letting you know, clock. Need time, end time, takes time, cycles, time to heal and progress, and heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect in the boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So I did see over here, Pisces, Queen of Cups to the King of Cups, the Lovers, the Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, Eight of Wands. There is some type of communication coming in. Um, your intuition may be picking up on this, or you may be receiving telepathic messages as well. But there's a soulmate, a kindred spirit, a divine counterpart. Okay, it doesn't have to be a water sign. It can be. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. Or maybe they have those placements significantly. But I'm sure you won't meet that. I'm sure you won't know that on, you know, the first time you're like, oh, hey, <laughs> what is your sign, honey? <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the one. It's not like that's how life really works, right? But anyways, so this could just be a divine counterpart king to the queen of cups okay two people who are emotionally mature loving intuitive kind nurturing two people who will listen to one another who are very giving individuals have a lot of deep emotions you know don't wear them on their sleep but this is a new offer this is something stable coming in pisces and i feel like you may have been intuitively picking up on this with this eight of wands or um
Yeah, again, I feel like you're ending a cycle of, you know, Nine of Cups reversed to the Temperance. It's like some type of wish fulfillment is like, didn't, sometimes we feel like things are what we want because we're not seeing them clearly. And we have illusion all over this reading. Okay, so if you're at this peaceful place with peace and harmony, Temperance Angel in your life, okay, making sound decisions, okay, choosing forgiveness. There may be somebody here who's trying to cut, cause some type of confusion here. This could be a Taurus or someone who's non-committal as well or this is just somebody who's trying to challenge your belief systems by causing some type of an illusion here like anyways judgments being called on the situation your angels are here watching over this situation so something here is not going to turn out now this may be something not turning out the way that someone else wanted nine of cups in the reverse okay something here the world card the world is here something is ending and someone could be sitting in full of regret and that's just whatever whatever judgment So I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope it helped. I hope it gave you guys some clarity. If it did, until next time, I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. And I love you guys so much. Deuces.